going to use IsoPure high protein powder and make a pound cake with it for everybody today. So come on you guys, let's get this day started. Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. How is everybody doing? Hey, congratulations to all of you who are doing our challenge. Let me get it because I've got doctor paperwork for Harry and for I. Hold on. Just a second. My bad, my bad. That one's mine. That one's yours. We've got to get these scheduled here tomorrow. Ha! Here we go. Loving It on Keto. Keto Lose Weight and Feel Great April Challenge. Today is Sunday, you guys. Sunday, we eat all the food in a four hour eating window, eat plenty of protein, eat up to three tablespoons, up to three tablespoons. Did you hear that, you guys? Up to, you don't have to eat three tablespoons, but you can have up to. Three tablespoons of full fat. Full fat in the way of good fat, such as butter, ghee, coconut oil, MCT oil, extra virgin olive oil, tallow, bacon grease, or lard. Stop eating before 7 p.m. Take a walk, lift some weights, and move your body. Now, you guys can use bone broth. You can use bone broth to before the four hour window starts and after the four hour window has ended, but sip on your bone broth. So many of you have asked me, well, how much bone broth can I have? Use as much as and up to five cups a day, but sip it. Don't gulp it, okay? Because the less is better and does the most good for your body when you are doing a 24-hour fast. We're using bone broth. It's not our food for the day. It's a lever we are using if we get triggered by food, if we are too hungry, if we feel lightheaded, dizzy, any of those things, you should first of all make sure you've talked to your doctor about this. Make sure the medicine you are on or, and your doctor is okay with doing a, a fast of any kind. Because Harry and I are not doctors. We're not medical practitioners. We are not giving you medical advice. We're sharing what Harry and I are doing for our bodies. And to use the bone broth to satiate us just enough to push us through that 24-hour magic mark where all the magic happens, the autophagy happens, all the goodness happens, okay? And if you can push through 24 hours and you go to bed early, you might want to hit it and not do it until the next day. Add another 12 hours to that, easy peasy. Easy peasy, have some bone broth before bed, go to sleep, wake up, 7 a.m., break your fast. That would be fantastic if we could do that. But so far, here we are on track at the 24-hour mark. Now, we went to the doctors the other day, and I talked to him. I got my other uh, HRT shot, and I said, I'm getting a gut. I'm getting a gut again. And he said, yeah, that can happen. <laughs> that can happen on hormone replacement therapy. And I'm thinking... You know, is it a trade-off? I'm, I'm, I'm not doing anything different food-wise, and I'm gaining weight, and I'm getting a gut. Well, I've always had a gut. It's just it's inflating. So I don't know how long I'm going to do hormone replacement therapy for before I give up the ghost if I continue to gain weight. I remember when I took birth control pills when I was married uh, originally way long time ago in my 20s and didn't want to start a family yet, and I I gained weight on those and I gained weight every time I took anything with hormones in it so we'll see we'll see I want to know if any of you if you started hormone replacement therapy when you did how much weight did you gain or did you lose weight how did you feel ladies you got to help me out here you got to help me out here you know whether it's holistic or doctor prescribed or you know the um, Mexican yam and the black coash and and all of those things or you know what what was it and how much weight and then were you able to lose Lose that weight eventually leave me a description down below because I need your help I need your advice I feel good except when I get the shot and then I'm a little bit mm, 
Moody, Harry, would you no, say? Yeah. Hormonal, would you say? Yes, dear. Yes, yes, dear. <laughs> I'm like that little dog. I'm like that ankle biter. Yep. Oops, somebody heard me. Hope oh, she doesn't come in here. She's going, what is going on in the kitchen, Mama? That's Sally girl. Anyway, you guys, we bought tickets for the movie, The Civil War, the new movie that's out. We are going to go to a matinee in the middle of the day, and then we are going to come back, and I am going to cook with the Isopure. I keep telling people, use the protein of your choice, and I thought, do I want to use Isopure? Um, protein because um, I know a lot of people use this and I want to see how this does I want to see con consistency texture etc with uh, my products that I use my keto my keto chow protein powder with so I'm gonna do that today yes I am so you guys come back in the next segment but we've got to go because our tickets are for 1250 Yes, it is. 12.50 in the afternoon. That was the only matinee they had today because today is Saturday for us, not Sunday. So you guys, we'll see you when we get back. We'll talk about the movie without giving the plot away and see how Harry and I liked it. So we'll see you guys in the next segment. Hey, everybody. We are back from the movie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Come over here, Harry. Oh. Uh. The challenge with this movie is there is no preface for it. There's no beginning. Do you think they don't, they're not like, you know. There's not even a plot. There's no Star Wars where it comes and says after the fall of the, empire, you know, empire, empire, you know. Nothing. Nothing like that. No map to show you what is who, who, what part of the Civil War belongs to whom, what the name of the uh, party is of the Civil War. Civil War. We had to, when we got out of the movie, we had to go look a bunch of stuff up. Because we, yeah, we had to look it up and read about it because it was like they did no discussion. You don't know who's fighting who and what for. Yeah, it's other than the president is on his third term. He there the, and these. This is about journalists, and it just was to me very. And you know, it being a movie about journalists, you think we would have known exactly what went on because they were journalists new. Yeah. We didn't know nothing. And not only that, but... All we did was sit here and watch people shoot each other. They shot each other. All you got was a whole bunch of shooting and people dying. And which, if you're into that, that's fine. But yeah. there was no purpose. We didn't know why. And we didn't know about... There was no backlog. And there was no explanation through the movie where they take you back in time. Right. You know, you rewind when they first started. Yeah, None of nothing. that. At the end, what happened... Was the war won? What? No, yeah. we didn't even go don't, that. Don't, don't, but don't, don't give away the end. No, I mean, gonna, seriously. But it that. just was very, mm -hmm. first, a war about killing. It was very dry. And it just was not a good, I, it, uh, I mean, I the people, the, well, they had feelings, but it was just in a weird were confused. way. Yeah. Uh, I don't was, know what we just saw. It was poor. It was a poor script. They could have done so much more with yeah. that. They needed a back. They needed a story. Even my stupid movies got more. Well, yeah, but they, 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 it just didn't explain along the way. There was no back. There was no, you know, rewind in history. And this is what mm -hmm. happened to brought us forward. There was nothing in the beginning to show you the map of the world as we know it today. Right. There was no timeline of when in the future oh, this was. Who was who? Yeah, it, it, it was not good. I, oh, wow. It personally, was like thrown together. I say don't go see the movie. It's, it's, Asteroid City was my number one worst film last year. So so far, Civil War is my absolute worst movie this right. year. Right. Unless you want to see people being shot. Yeah, that's really. I mean, you know, it was uh, kind of weird. It was. I don't know. You guys got to. If any of you go see it, let us know what you think. When I use the word dry oh. along with people getting killed, it's so bizarre, but it was just. Yeah. And then the end, we're sitting there waiting for something. There wasn't even news reports on their TVs to talk about what was happening right like in the background where you could hear you know we're marching forward and we've taken the town of kumbaya and you know the the good guys are there now and you can go and get food there no nothing like that and i i, I don't want to spoil the very dull movie other than the lots of shoot him up blood and and, and dead bodies 
Yeah, it's not worth it. It was basically about a young photographer that was, it was about taking pictures. It was about an up and coming one and all the old dogs that have just been in too many war torn scenarios and just were very bitter and cold against what was going on. Just get the picture. Just get the picture. Yeah. yeah. And, and what they saw and experienced and did nothing to help. And I'm not into that kind of thing. Anyway, you guys, I just want to share that because I'm glad it was a matinee. I'm glad we didn't spend a lot of money. Well, it was money, but yeah. Go to the matinee if you want to go. If they have a senior, senior discount, get those tickets because it's not worth it. I don't feel it's worth it. But we have a lot of new movies to go there was the, the emotion even wasn't there. It just, yeah, it just was lacking. But you guys, I brought out some books. If you're new to fasting, if you have been not as successful as you want to be to fasting, I would suggest, and even though Dr. Boz, I mean Dr. Mindy says, fast like a girl, Dr. Mindy, and uh, she talks more, oh, this is the cookbook. I did get her cookbook. I ought to get the book, the book. Dr. Kellyanne's bone broth diet book. Um, she also has a 10 day belly melt slim down, which she does, she does bone broth. And if you want to get some good bone broth recipes, get her bone broth cookbook. You can get these all on Amazon. We don't have a link right now. We just don't. And I apologize. Um, I looked for more fasting books, but I think if you get through these three, look them up on YouTube and watch some of the um, YouTubers, Dr. Mindy, Dr. Kellyanne, Dr. Jason Fong, about fasting you will get you will become enlightened a lot more and you can figure out which way is best for you and your body but I just wanted to share these I'm back into reading when I read I read about three books at a time so I need to move these because I'm going to be getting all my supplies out because I want to make a pound cake with the iso pure Zero carb protein. Yes, I do. So I'm going to move these books just over here. And then I am going to get all my products and stuff out. And I've got my oven on 325 preheating. And you guys, in just a minute, we'll come back and I will make a pound loaf using the Isopu protein. So for those of you who are brand new, when you use egg whites, which I do a lot, you need to put all of the non-fat egg white ingredients into one area and whip them into stiff peaks before you add any of the fats. So in this case, I have three separate bowls because I'm going to have some fats that are liquid some fats that are solids and then the product that goes straight into the pan in the beginning to whisk for egg whites and I'll explain as we go so I'm making my keto scout my keto butterscotch pound cake version 1.0 and instead of using butterscotch keto chow I'm going to use vanilla iso pure zero carb protein powder and you can use the one that you can get where you live in the world your favorite one yes indeed now i've got an egg we need a cup of egg whites and we need one egg yolk so just put your egg in there take your big spoon So I think you had to use a small spoon, a small spoon, so you don't have to fight with all that. I don't have a problem. I really like doing it this way. It actually, yes, it actually works. Look, there you go. No, I mean, you know, yeah, it works great. It worked great. But this, I think a lower side spoon would be easier to drain the stuff off. No, I like it just the way it is, seriously. And somebody asked, I forgot the name of it, but the white part right there, just use this and scoop that off if you don't like it, but it's protein, it's a beginning of a baby chicken and I don't mind it in there. As long as there's no feathers in there, I'm fine. So I've got some Kirkland cage-free egg whites. 
And I'm going to fill this up to the brim with egg whites. One cup is what I want. Right there, eight ounces. Yes, I do. And it can just go right here into the bowl. Now, for all the measured goods, I need a uh, little bowl. My bad, Harry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna measure out one tablespoon of butter. Then we're gonna melt and cool it. Butter's 14 grams. One tablespoon's 14 grams. So, uh, this is gonna be about 10. See how you think you've got a tablespoon and you really don't. There you go. When I make my pastries and I, my cakes, not so much my cookies. My cookies are more forgiving, but not the cakes. You really need to be measuring to make sure you are getting the gram weight pretty precise. Right, Harry? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put this in for about 15 seconds into here, not even 15 seconds. I'm gonna start with 10. Yes, it did. It's, it did. Yeah, it did. It wouldn't have done this on five seconds. Well, I was waiting for you to put in an amount you wanted it to defrost. Right. I know. I did it wrong. But I want to make sure of this. Okay, so I'm going to take this and just put it in here for just a few minutes just to get it from being so hot because you've got raw egg yolk and if you pour the hot butter in the raw egg yolk you're going to cook the egg and then you're going to have scrambled eggs in your cake and you don't want that so just just saying for that now we need a tablespoon of or 14 grams i believe it is 15 grams of sour cream there you go per <laughs> perfect boy that doesn't happen often for me anyway so I've got my my powdered but I mean my I'm not using powdered butter so I'm moving it out of the way so I don't get on overdrive and grab it by accident so I don't want it to get coagulated again, but I do want it cool. So now I want to add a teaspoon of vanilla. This is homemade vanilla that I made. Thank you, Jim West, for sending me the bottles and the directions on how to make it. I love it, it's really good. I've had this two years now, Jim, I think. So it's really vanilla -y. So a teaspoon of vanilla. And since I am using IsoPure and I ran out of, unbeknownst to me, caramel or, and butterscotch flavor uh, extract, I have got some vanilla cup, Cabela vanilla cupcake version two. Teaspoon of Gabella Vanilla Cupcake version two in there. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of premium toffee stevia. And then I'm going to put in a teaspoon of English toffee, better stevia. So get the flavors that you like 
and use the directions that it says for how much to use. A teaspoon seems to be about average. And remember, because we're cooking with eggs, it gets very, it nullifies the flavor as it cooks. So it may be more potent when it's raw and tastes delicious. And then when you cook it, the flavor has gone away uh, about 50%. So 30%, 50%, somewhere around in there. There. Now we'll add the butter in later. And I'm going to put the butter out now and just leave it to the side. Once you get the bottom of the butter done, it's pretty good. Okay, now for the powdered goods. Keto Chow weighed, the butterscotch weighed 14.6 grams. So I'm gonna put 40 grams, I mean 40.6 grams. I'm gonna put 40 grams in here and just see what that looks like to me. Smells very vanilla. I can smell the vanilla. So let's go 40 grams. There it is. Okay, 40 grams. Just because I want to use the same amount as what was in the powder that I used, if that makes sense. Oh, say it again. If that makes sense. If that makes sense, I'm using the same amount of protein powder from this one to the keto chow because I'm exchanging keto chow for that. So I'm going to put this right here. Let me read my ingredients. So in the wet ingredients, we need the sour cream, the egg yolk, the cool melted butter, the vanilla, the stevia, and flavoring drapes, which together until creamy, which we're waiting for the butter to cool off. We need sugar replacement in here. Didn't I bring out the, huh. Let me get the brown sugar replacement because I forgot it. It's up here in my cupboard. I need three tablespoons of it. I'm putting it in with my high protein powder that was uh, the IsoPure, the flavored one, to three. I'm just gonna give that a quick stir. Now I have never made this with IsoPure before. So this is gonna be new for me and for you as well. And I may tweak the recipe depending on how it comes out. Now I've got my ingredients that go in to the actual egg whites that will not uh, make the egg whites flat or not beat stiff peaks. So that's why I've got the, the fats that are liquid separate from the dry fats because IsoPure I think has a little bit of fat in it. I'm not sure about IsoPure. I'd rather put it in last and make sure I have stiff peaks before I add it in. So into my egg white powder, I mean into my egg, raw eggs, one cup of raw eggs is in there. I'm putting in a teaspoon cream of tartar. I'm putting in a little bit of salt, just a little bit, just a pinch, about, about mm, I'd say a quarter to a half of a teaspoon. Keto Chow has electrolytes in it. Uh, Iso Pure, let me look, I don't believe it does. Let me see. As it says it has zero fat. It has a mineral blend. Where's the sodium? Sodium, 240 grams. 
cholesterol 10 milligrams so it's got a little bit of cholesterol in it but zero fat calories is a hundred 31 grams is a serving but I'm putting 40 in we may have to go down or up depending on how it turns out as a cake and the only way I can tell you to do it is to experiment the first time with your uh, the protein of your choice. Allulose is one tablespoon. Just granulated, gold granulated allulose. Just put it in there. Got my sugar, got my allulose. I need a third of a cup of egg white protein powder and I use the Now brand. That's the brand I use. Tablespoon of beef protein gelatin. I use Zint. It's grass fed, grass finished. You can use even Knox gelatin, that's fine. Depends on where you live in the country again as to what kind of gelatin you can get. I just happen to like this. It comes in a big bag. I use it all the time, so that works for me very well. Um, let me stir this real quick here. And I like stirring my um, powdered goods up with my egg whites before I mix because I don't want anything on the bottom that's not mixed. It just tends to do better. And next I add the egg white powder and I'm just gonna put in a third of a cup. I don't mash it down, I just use this little container and kinda knock it across get myself egg white protein powder a third of a cup again I whip it up and then I get it into my pan into my bowl, excuse me, it's a bowl, not a pan. And then, before I turn it on, just for the sake of you guys, I'm gonna put my butter, now that it's cooled, right here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour it in gently into here, so that when we are all done, and we have stiff egg whites, peaks, we're gonna add the powder first, and last we're gonna add the liquids. But right now, put the shield on, and we're gonna beat this to stiff peaks, you guys. And then we'll come back when we have stiff peaks. I tasted the powder. It's very bland. I'm putting some cinnamon in. More or less to your taste. It's very bland. Make it more of a snickerdoodle taste. Caramely, cinnamony deliciousness. Mm. Let me get a spoon and taste it. That is so mild. Taste it. I need another teaspoon of uh, vanilla in this. It's not going to carry. The vanilla is not going to carry through. I wonder if I should put just a, another squirt of this in yeah. there, because I'm very worried. 
About another half a teaspoon? Yeah. Because it really doesn't taste like anything, does it, Harry? No. Okay. Kirkland eggs have not been whipping very well lately. Yeah, it seems to be taking like twice as long. No, still needs to whip. We'll be back when it's done if I get stiff peaks. Kirkland eggs are not whipping right for me anymore, so we'll be back. It's not whipping up very well, but that's fine. It folds anyway, so I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to put the powder goods in. Can you see it? And turn it on high for about 10 seconds. Now that smells very proteiny, Jane. Can you smell it? it smells no, like protein. Protein powder. Is there anything in there? Yes, there is. Here comes the liquids. And turn on high. This really made it fall. The back is to it. There, it looks just like pancake batter now. So you wanna just scrape your sides like you would anything else. Get the whites. Man, this just made it like liquid. Yeah. Nothing like yesterday. So I don't know about this ISO pure, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna follow through with it. That's what we're doing. Let's pour it in this uh, three and a half by eight and a half smaller silicon pan. Looks like pancake batter to me, which is fine. Oh, that tastes good. Does it? Uh -huh. Taste it. It does not taste like butterscotch, but it's got a good flavor, a good nice flavor. Oh yeah, it does. Actually. It's got a nice flavor. Mm. Let me put this in the oven, and then we'll come and talk. Excuse me, Harry. I'm gonna cook this for 30 minutes. At 325 degrees. And then I'm gonna let it sit in the oven. I'm gonna turn it off and let it sit five or 10 minutes depending on what color it turns. Now, I tasted the protein powder right away and I should have tasted it in the very beginning because it was not very vanilla-y. It was more of a chalky, powdery, plain taste. So I went back in and I added a total of two teaspoons of vanilla. I or I put in another squeeze, so one and a half teaspoons to two teaspoons of this premium toffee stevia. I put in a teaspoon of the vanilla cupcake V2 because I didn't have any caramel. I would put in about a, a teaspoon of that. And I put in a total of two teaspoons of the English toffee because it did not have any flavor. And if it doesn't have flavor, I mean a burst of flavor when it's raw, you're not gonna taste anything. It's gonna taste like bread yeah, when you're out. Yeah, it's how the taste just goes it away. Does. It does. Now, I, Harry said, put, oh, you can put a little cinnamon in I said, well, I can put some cinnamon in it for you, honey. That way, if there's a different flavor, more vanilla taste, because I don't have any um, butterscotch toffee, uh, extract I put this in and that really tasted good so the good news is raw it had plenty of flavor had plenty of sweetness I could taste the vanilla in it I had a little bit of the caramel taste of the English toffee I could taste a little bit of the cinnamon so now let's see how it cooks it dropped the batter a lot more than my butterscotch 
keto chow does, but butterscotch keto chow has acacia fiber in it. This one had xanthan gum. So next time I make it, I have some acacia fiber. I'll probably put in about maybe a teaspoon, half a teaspoon in it, just to experiment. You're going to any product that you use that's not keto chow, you're going to have to experiment with because Every country allows different things in their products. Some countries don't allow sucralose. Some countries don't allow aspartame. Some com companies don't allow specifics. Allulose, I think, is very hard to get or doesn't allow, isn't allowed in some countries. So use my recipe as a guideline. The hardest part is going to be when you're using concentrated forms of sugar sweetener to taste it because it's going to be overpowering. It's not going to taste like the finished product. That's the only problem with uh, stevia drops. It's very concentrated. But I can write, I'm thinking about just writing one using the ISO Pure as opposed to this. And when it comes out, based on what it tastes like, we can name it you know, a uh, high protein uh, pound cake, vanilla, or, or what it tastes like the most. So you guys, this is an experiment, you know, crazy experiment in the kitchen, and that's what you're going to have to do with any of my recipes, especially if I use keto chow. You know, I give you the opposite things, and I'm very, it's very easy for me just to add and mix, and I know that it's not easy for a lot of you. I know a lot of you have to have a guideline. Maybe you're new to cooking. You're not comfortable with adding stuff without seeing the recipe and knowing why. Some of you are cooks and chefs and have taken classes and you know you're very easy and comfortable in the kitchen and can add as you go. So everybody's different as far as that's concerned. So I wanna try to get it as spot on as possible and give you the information from the ISO Pure high protein perspective instead of the keto chow perspective. So with that, you guys, we'll come back and we'll check this out. And we're going to be honest. We're going to be 100% honest with you. We have a little bit of our um, of our uh, keto chow um, butterscotch pound cake left and we'll see the difference between texture and such. Now, mine has been in the refrigerator. I took it out so that it could get un so it's not cool and, and it's hard so that we can see taste and texture wise and share with you guys. So we will be back in the next segment when we have a pound cake. Yes, indeed. So I let it cool for five minutes, but it's awfully brown, so I wanna take it out. But you guys, look at that. Whoa. Let me see something. Huh? I like it. I like it a lot. Let's let it set. Let me see if I can, let me see how firm it is. I have Sally's chicken cooking, so I had to stop it so you guys could hear. Oh no, that's nice. How does it feel? Feels good. Feels like it's not gonna stick. Like getting a mark on it, but it's the only way I know how to do it. Like that. Ooh, that's hot. I can tell it's hot, but look at that. It's caramelized, it's buttery, and it smells delicious, you guys. Look at that. Ooh. ooh. Look at that. Now that's with the isopure. So you guys, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do a taste test. Yes, indeed, but doesn't that look delicious? Yum. Okay, this is the isopure sweet cake pound cake. I probably should have stopped it at 25 minutes in my stove at 325 because it's very crusty. Right, it's very firm. So maybe not cook it for as long of a temperature. Where'd my knife go that I asked you to wash? 
Let's fire bombs. Now, let's cut this in half so we can get the half mark like where that's at, or at least a quarter. And let's look at the differences. This one is denser. This is the one we just made. It's denser. This one's a little airier. This one was in the refrigerator though. So let's give this a slice. <laughs> Sally smells cake. She loves cake. Mom, I want some cake. Well, you can have some cake after we have some cake. So basically, this is it with, it's more bready. Smells like vanilla. I can smell a little bit of the English toffee, a little bit of cinnamon. Sally, no. Hmm. That's the flavor, but it's more bready. No. I want some cake. Okay. I don't know how Isol Pure is gonna do for you. Here, come over here. Taste the cake. What do you think? I want to taste like cake. Can I have more? <laughs> This has a funky aftertaste. Does it? Tastes like protein powder is the best I can tell. But so Harry, I want you to come over and you taste it. Here. Just ignore Sally girl, she's being silly. Go ahead and smell it. Do the, you know, what does it look, what does it feel like? Yeah, it's, well it's really, it's very uh, firm. Yeah. What do you taste? I taste a lot of vanilla, mm -hmm. some egg. Yeah, I have a more egg flavor for some mm -hmm. reason in this. Yeah. It doesn't taste bad at all, no, this is, you, but it doesn't have a cake taste like the pound cake does. It's more like a bread. I would, I would toast it and put butter on it and have sweet toast. Uh, I would use it for, um, um, French toast. Mm -hmm. This is more cake-like. This is a really good. Yeah. This is this would survive. I like the I like the keto chow one better, but this is fine. Right. I mean, this is fine. You can have this all day long. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think the texture is more like bread. What do you think? More like my bread than the than yes. the than the keto definitely. chow pound cake. Yeah, definitely. So I'm wondering if the acacia fiber makes the difference. I would cook it less, which will give it a more custardy uh, feel inside. It's, vi it's good. Don't get me wrong. I'm just spoiled with my keto chow. This is more vanilla. I did not. It's very vanilla. I would not have had. It would have done better if I'd had the caramel taste. Sally, honey. No. Taste. But. It's more bread-like with the isopure here. Have some. More! No, you cannot have more. But I like cake. Well, I know you do, but you're going to have to wait, honey, because I don't know how Isopure does for you. So, anyway, it's 9 o'clock, you guys, so she's thinking we're done. 9.30. Um, 9.30. Um, it's not cake-like. It's bread-like. It's sweet bread. It's very good. That's it. It's sweet bread. That's exactly it. It is sweet bread. I would toast it. I would put butter on it. I would eat it with my coffee, my tea. It's perfect for that. Yeah. It just doesn't have a silky enough texture to make it cakey. Now, we're going to put it in the refrigerator overnight and see what the texture is in the morning because it does change overnight. So we're going to do that. But you guys, that's it with the isopure the difference between the isopure let me know if you have used a different protein powder 
making my recipe for the pound cake. Which one did you use and how did you tweak it to get it cake-like? Leave me a description below because that's the way, if you share, that's the way we all get to learn from this. There are so many people that can't get keto chow for some, for whatever reason, they live in another country, etc. That's the most important reason. And then what protein powder did you use? Because that's important to you guys. Anyway, please remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell so you get notified every time we upload a video. You guys give us a thumbs up. I have something coming in the mail tomorrow. UPS. I want to share with everybody. I have been researching it and I am so excited, especially for older folks with limited mobility. Yep. I am very excited. I am not affiliated with this company in any way shape or form i bought it for me and for harry and i'm super excited it's supposed to be here hopefully it comes early tomorrow so that we can share it with everybody so you guys stay tuned but sally wants to say good night she's been talking all night can i have some more no how about some beef okay i love beef i'll take the beef yeah give me the beef and I'll where's the beef and a couple pieces of chicken skin in there. Can you say good night? Good night, everybody. This is really good now. Well, that's that. Ah, uh, chili piece. I like chili pieces.